Well, and and certainly, we're talking about T1 and Viper here. We'll have a lot to show as Leaf leads us off in the first frag of the game. Oh, baby. Already kicking it off. Zeta gets in on it as well. The two most recent additions to the squad get on the board. We saw Cloud9 show a little bit of aggression down B long. T1 traded out with a couple of kills of their own. And really, after all of the kerfuffle that just went down, things things settle out. Now it's on T1 to, to rethink this. Skadoodle's able to take care of Zeta. That should give them a bit more room to work with on B. Just an absolute brawl at long B to start. And Vice with a shock bolt in hand. A little at least delay the spike plant for just a moment as Curry picks up the flank, but Mitch Ooh. gets the better of him with a burst. It looked good, and now should be able to rotate over. That wall's going to go up. Uh, but they're still kind of... What? Enemy they have the sight. Now they're, now they're going to be able to get the spike down. Skadoodle on the plant, drops things down to a 1v1. Mitch, who was, on the, who was taking care of things elsewhere on the map, is now going to be rotating his way over through B-Long. Skadoodle was just 34 health, but Mitch is in even worse uh, of a spot. So low, Doug. Yeah. I'm going to take one bullet. Or maybe even... Heck, at this point, just looking at him funny. <laughs> Skadoodle creeping forward. Mitch might get the time. Oh, no. Just half a second. I mean, he just walks right past him. But Mitch has to continue to push forward. The wall's going to go down. Skadoodle just on the other side. He taps. Mitch continues. Now that's going to force oh. Skadoodle out. Skadoodle with three on the pistol. The patient game pays off. So these SMGs that just need need to close the distance just a bit more. Relics finds the first with the frenzy frag on the Skadoodle. And steps up. Next to challenge, automatic and daze both fall. Leaf, Mitch, and Zeta all chiming in with frags of their own. Yeah, and the daze is off the board. It's just down to Curry, and again, he's got three health. They're just gonna run at him. A cool. It is uh, be deployed over there as Leaf gets aggressive early on at A main, clears out Spider, and understands the B play for T1 is pretty much inevitable. Doug. It is, and you see the, the aggression with which Cloud9 continues to try to take space away. It was a nice, nice shot there, but unfortunately not going to pan out. Zayden and Leaf get a couple. T1 is just down to dazed here. He's got a classic. Right, so they didn't buy very much going into it. I think I saw one weapon in the hands of Automatic, but that was it. Another flawless round for Cloud9 as they pick up right where they left off in the previous. 24 seconds left in the round, folks, and all members for both teams are still alive as curry slowly starting to get the spike down you're starting to see some of the shock darts come through not going to connect zeta's the first to fall bulldog bursts don't quite connect but spider cleans up four on one post plant now c9 blue on the ropes just mitch now struggling two hp not a prayer in the world right now for him to somehow come out with a round win but that's escape with a frag or two. Yeah, maybe, maybe get, get that frag lockdown. Get the, yep. There it is. Yeah. Put up the silver wall as well. Thanks, or excuse me, the sage wall. Thanks to automatic as they get the spike down. But the lockdown has been used. The thing is for T1, they've got every single ultimate they could possibly want. There's one of the showstoppers. Skadoodle does connect onto relics, but the lockdown <laughs> cleans him up. Spider there. Tapped it. The hunter's figure is going to be used as well as Mitch going hunting, trying to find where Skadoodle is. At this time, at this point, he realizes time's up, but he lands his shots anyway. Mitch gets one. He's going to drop at the hands of Spider. Two members left on the side of Cloud9. Spider with three. He's going to dash his way forward, but the defuse comes through. Uh, Cloud9 has entrusted Zeta basically to make sure that if they fall off of B, he's going to make them pay for it. Let's find out here. Ooh. Nope. Nope. Spider and Daze both coming up huge. As they get a couple of picks, you see Leaf. Using the from the shadows, but they've got to they've got to hurry, baby. Get on that horse. They're going to be able to get the spike down. They should have enough time. And Cloud Nine is in a decent spot in that they're going to be able to pinch in from multiple areas. It's not going to be one dimensional in their attempt at a retake. But T1, because of the numbers advantage and because of where they're positioned, they're they're in a really good spot to hold this back. Of course, as I say that, Ace drops. This flank is actually going to pose so much of an issue. You've got He's Spider wanted. turned around. He's going to find the first one on the mid, but now it's a two on two and Leaf lives. Did he get it to half? Mm, I don't know I if he got so. it to half. But yeah, Leaf just with 10 health here. The spike continuing to tick away. You wonder here if he, I mean, with just 10 health left, if he just kind of yeah. plays this out to try to ruin some of their economy, maybe try to catch them in it. Right? Yeah. Like, what you're doing is you're just buying, trying to create some noise, see if they'll stay, maybe get a pick on the way out. Yep. You've got the Hunter Siri. They also have a decent idea of... Ooh, here it comes. 
Nope. On his Fury out. On his Fury. He called it. Vice. Not gonna get. Oh my gosh, they get away with murder. Right? They're able to pull him back. Well, maybe not get away from murder as they brought him <laughs> back from the dead. But either way, they managed to get away with it. Relics using a, a nade to get a kill onto Skadoodle. Little raise on raise. As Cloud9 starts to continue to push up across B long, take some space away and force T1 elsewhere. They're choosing to go up the middle of the map. We'll see if they can get it. Mitch holding that off angle at Boiler. Holding the lockdown out. Well, he, but, you can tell he he wanted to, and then Vice got another kill, and he's like, well, then maybe we don't have to. Yeah. He regrets it now. Now we're just down to a two-on-two. Two. Ten <laughs> seconds remaining. Relics over at screen, scrambling to get back towards the A site. Oh, Days the will showstopper. promptly and safely put it down. One enemy remaining. Showstopper. Showstopper connects. And it's just Spider alone. Beautiful. It's not Spider anymore. Well played by Cloud9 there as they get the defuse and and even you're right he probably regretted it in that moment uh but it <laughs> typically when this b play is coming out from t1 to to, to flame this territory uh cloud will play three sometimes four members over towards this side of the map but leaf has been committed towards this yellow position and there it is already cleared out by the paint shells who finds him dude and look at the look at the conditioning that t1 has done for cloud nine where it's just now that the jet is making his way over because Spider had been has been so exactly. hell bent on taking his way towards A. They have to respect it. Now they start to rotate over, and by the time he gets here, it's too late. Zeta's by himself in a one v four. He has the op. Maybe he gets a pick on the way out, but you've got to think a win here is keeping the op. Absolutely, and it really hasn't drawn much success for C nine thus far. But still, a huge financial investment is not something you want to just throw away here. But yeah, Doug, you said it, man. The, the, the mastery from T1. I understand why now they are comfortable enough to pick as Zeta gets hunted down by days. Comfortable enough. You hear the res came through as well, and that's going to push T1 right back. The, the thing is, Curry was not playing back in his spawn. Mm. Right? So definitely not the same amount of space, the same knowledge that they would have had otherwise. So they have to be far more precarious about how they wake their way back over left. around. Meanwhile, Mitch plays this very well, where he just takes all the space away that came from the lockdown. And with that comes a kill on the spider. Skadoodle's able to trade it out, however, as there are only 20 seconds left on the round. The Viper's wall is going to go up, lead them to think that there might be something going on there. Once again, he has to stay. As Skadoodle uses a showstopper, and Vice rips him down and takes him out. Not a factor any longer as Automatic starting to get the spike down, but no one's gonna drop. Five seconds left, they've gotta go. I don't know if they're gonna have enough time. Leaf going in aggressive, lands the shots, denies that the round is lost as Cloud9 take it away from T1. Steady sight, Duel will unfold. Zeta went all the way in there. Nice crossfire, Zeta's able to take care of one. Relic got tagged up pretty bad. Zeta drops. But that, that's fine. They got everything that they wanted. They're going to get on to B. Mitch is going to be the first one there. Hey, guys, it's safe. Come on over. The spike's going to go down as well. And now it's going to be on T1 to mad dash their way back over to try to retake the site. Yeah, Curry was lingering for a while over here at B. Opted to go help out towards mid. And so now they'd have to clear all of this territory. And Automatic will get the first one on a leaf. That's the big knife in the back play that could have unfolded. There is still one player towards mid. I believe that's Relics. But... I wonder whether or not he's going to get the better of days than he doesn't. Frenzy too fresh for him. Finds one more. Now it's just one player vice over here at yellow. And this is a uh, actually wow. doable. Look at the HPs. Almost. Oh, all right. He should be able to get it. He bought time. Like he made that close. He made that on. Tell a lot of rounds left to be played. Plenty of map ahead of us. There's a paranoia that's going to be coming out. Zeta follows it with a dash. And Spider, oh. Spider already got two as Leaf and Vice drop. They handle the flash and dash just fine as they still have full members in front of them. Spider still looking for a bit more as Mitch tries to get the spike down. Zeta going aggressive, able to take care of one, but he's going to get pushed back. But Relics, Relics comes up huge. Automatic takes care of Zeta. Drops things down to a 3v2 in favor of T1. Series of awkward fights. As we said, we're going to now for T1. And explosive plays for C9 this far have... Standing. Not worked out too hot. Relics will fall. Spider with three incredible frags on the round. Opening with two share. A majority towards long B default, but there is a player near two that mid. 
one player towards Zay. That Zeta, he collects a Sheriff Frag to the face. And suddenly, that default that I just spoke of has collapsed. The spike is still in spawn for C9. And despite the fact that they're on pistols here, they are creating some room. Leaf finds one. Dazed. Right Two. into the lap of Leaf. Nate pushes him back. Leaf's able to welcome him. Play a little ring around the Rosie, and Curry wins that one. And he gets a second one onto Leaf and Relics. Mitch still, however, causing problems for T1. Mitch, is, Mitch has been absolutely imperative in, in the success of Cloud9 to this point. He's got a chance to do something again here. 1v2, lands a shot, drops things down to a 1v1, but the reload is there. He's going to get pushed back. The alarm bot pushes him back. Managed to get the reload off just narrowly. Missing the last few shots. Spike! Oh, oh, Mitch goes huge to win the round for Cloud. The Viper wall crept up far enough to take contact from Snowman, but he gets decapitated by automatic. That was five on three, Doug. Yeah, man, you can tell they were wanting to rotate over to B, but as soon as he dropped, they went right back to A. They don't really have a choice to go elsewhere, and Spider's there to <laughs> greet him a flawless round. Nice shots from Spider with the Blade Storm. Strangled by T1, both on attack and now here on defense. As I say that, Leaf, thorn in the side of Automatic Hoop. He lost the first couple of duels, but not this time. Comes out on top, and it's Curry in the Viper's Pit, getting outed by Relics. Destroyed. Four on three now. Yeah, dude, Curry was alone in 1v3 there. I think it, I mean, best case scenario, you, you get a pick there and try to delay things, but he falls. Cloud9 have control of B. They're going to get the spike down as well. Now, now T1 has an interesting decision to make. Right? They're outnumbered, but they can choose to go for it or at least try to trap him in and get a couple of exits. There, there's, there's still some time here. There's still some decisions to be made. Hmm. Have a showstopper on hand, but I haven't seen. Oh, there finds one. Oh, no! Showstopper's trade. That's going to drop things down to a 1v1. Spider using the Cloudburst to try to get some space as he tries to stick the Diffuse. Vice going through the smoke. Spider swings! Oh my gosh, Spider! No way you did Almost. that! Almost. No way! Oh, man. They'll still have a res. You should automatic. And Spider opening things up again. Yep. Skadoodle getting in on it as well. It drops it, and he gets the lockdown as well. Nice shots from Zeta. Drop things down to a 3 2. Mitch should be able to get the spike down. It created enough room for them to get onto the site. Zeta, clean snap, not good for the second as Curry wins that. And Mitch, once again, in a 1vx. He's got 34 health. Not anymore. Curry takes care of him. T1's going to get the defuse, and they're going to take a three round lead. Man, that that is a few rounds in a row now. I, I don't want to say three and be wrong, but. At least the third time this half, where Spider's taking a a, a bear, but right away, fast B play here, Doug. Yeah, and it's interesting. The wall's not going up pipe. That means they can take that, and that's exactly what they do. They've managed to get into Kitchen. They have full control of B site here. Well, oh, Spider making me eat my words as he takes care of two. Vice trades him out. But they should, well. No, things, things. Deep again. Things look Just interesting. Able to get up in the kitchen and into the backside of T1. I mean, exposing the weaknesses is that omen lurk, and there is just so much to be taken. And you have an agent that is able to just bypass a lot of this frequently, and now Skadoodle shutting it down for just a moment, but that from the shadows towards A, no spike in hand, not a whole lot here for Leaf to just immediately turn in his favor and already T1 getting set up for any possibility of a, a, of a leaf clutch. Now, Skadoodle, there's no crossfire. Skadoodle lands the shots, takes care of leaf, and wins the round. And, and on, on, on Ecos. 30 seconds left. I like this decision here from C9 to just play it safe. They play it safe. They get the spike down. t one still all up. And as you mentioned, they have all those ultimates to work with. Let's see if they can get anything going here got Zeta on the Long flank, but to check that can be problematic, but again, you've got to buy enough time for, getting, for him to get in the position to make something happen. Days and Skadoodle get a couple of piece, but there are the rifles from Cloud9 to give them the advantage, and it goes from bad to worse. It's just down to automatic. He's got a sheriff. He had a kill, 
But that was all he had as Cloud to even get to this point, right? Like, they're refusing to go away. Leaf has been right just committed to causing the... And Cloud9 has got to figure some stuff out. The doodle. Big pick. As Cloud9 just down to three. Down to three, but they do have the initiative over here at the A site. Dark cover comes out. Recon bolt into the back of the site, and Spike goes down cleanly. Spike so, planted. four on three. The only thing that I could really say about the post plant here is you do have a res on the side of T1, which they will surely use on the retake. So, Leaf opting to play up here means, you know, he's going to try and do what he can to maybe get two, maybe stop the res from going down. We'll find out here. Remember the Hunter Fury is a problem as well. Leaf not even able to get one. There's that res that you mentioned. Skadoodle Joys will fold again. Their, their, their final, final Hail Mary, if you will, for Cloud9 should be that Hunter Fury. Skadoodle goes in, not able to land the shots. Mitch punishes him for it. Here's the Hunter Fury. Spice good for one. Spider getting it to has, got it past half. It looks like they're going to get the defuse. They do, ladies and gentlemen. T1. Paranoia goes through. Cloud bursts. Ada dashes in. Automatic gets pushed back, as does Daze. But they try to hold the line. They get pushed back, but Daze steps right back into the chaos and takes care of Zeta. Yeah, it's good over here. Joined by his teammate Curry on site. Immediately pressured by Leaf, he'll fall. And Cloud9 expecting the cypher here. Vice loses his duel. Automatic what? chimes in from. Oh what? man, and T1 immediately wipes. There's a reason why T1 won that round, and it wasn't just that they hit their shots, of course. It was they were playing towards B, expecting that rush to come through. Mm -hmm. He was on site. Spider over here at A main immediately saying, yeah, come challenge me. I'll give you what's yours, and we're also chiming in with one more. Now C9 down to two members remaining. But really, I, I, it just it seems like they're steps ahead of where Cloud9 want to be. And time... I'm enough for at least one more fight for Curry as Leaf just left all in his lonesome. All in his lonesome, 15 health as well. It's not like the guy's healthy, right? There's just mm -hmm. there's, there's just a, a tough spot for Leaf here. But, but I, you know, I want to draw back to something that you were mentioning earlier, Lex, and it was, it seems like T1 is really- The lone player in market, you've got a nice setup. Whether or not it works, we'll be found out here in a moment. Nice. Dashes onto the switch to hit it and get the door down in one fell swoop. Cloud9 managed to get some room to work with on the site. Curry gets it down. So try to work forward. Spike gets handed off. It should be going down on B and now on T1. Now and now it's on T1 at a number of disadvantage to try to retake the site. Mitch able to get one. Spider fishing up top. Not gonna spot anything, but it's automatic who does. That's gonna give Spider a bit more room to work with. They're on a decent spot here, but no, it's just down to automatic here. Maybe you, you, you play to try to trap him in and ruin some economy, but he's going to drop. Relics gets the final shots. Cloud nine. Flashpoint through the wall of B main. Drops another one. Curry swings, and he's got wow. the first one on the Relics. Super well played. Spider with the op getting one as well on device. Cloud nine and Cloud nine, are, they're just getting picked apart too, and the the... the the spike isn't committed to anything. You see Mitch, Mitch is taking some space across B. But I mean, not not, not really meaningful space at this point. You've got T1, Art, they have two players anchoring the site down. Leaf is gonna rotate over, but he gets spotted. So now, I mean, the gig's up, right? Yeah, they they may have at least they claimed a little bit of map control here at B main, but out. man, T1 has made them bleed for it. And so Mitch, you know, hoping that somebody peeks him, hoping that somebody tries to challenge this Odin. Doesn't get anything just yet. He one already rotated into place. Pincer in position, left. flanks underway. Leaf yeah, under fire him. here at stairs. Automatic behind him. Yeah. Mm, there it is. Automatic was on the flank there. Be open to the possibility of a jet hop just hanging out around the corner. And there it is. Spider finds one. Honor's Fury comes out. Side of Cloud Nine does not get anything for it. The A no. site has been yielded by T1. The spike plant should be coming out any second now, Doug. Yeah, the Empress was used as well. So I mentioned all of those those alts. I mean, they're they're there. The only one that wasn't channeled was a lockdown. That's because Mitch lost that opening duel. Cloud9 have gotten onto the site. They've gotten the spike down as well. T1 pushing from a couple of different areas. Relics big there, getting one. There should be one more for him to deal with here. But for Cloud9 so far, 
so good. Relics with another man. The guy is just so, so good. As he takes care of Curry, you hear the Hunter Fury has been used. Cloud9, they're in a good spot here. And for T1, I, I think you, you start to question whether or not you really want to fully commit to this or just play for the exits. Relic's already with three. That Empress has just been so difficult for T1 to deal with here. Well played by Cloud9. Beautiful round. Man, that is what you pay your duelists for. Relic's delivering with three big ones on the round when the Empress is popped. Buzz and they bit. Curry's the only one on B. Leaf gets one. Curry there, still on the spot. Can really go huge. Curry gets one, but Vice sniffs it out, takes care of him. So Doodle still has the Rolling Thunder. So there's some there, but I guess do you really need the Rolling Thunder when you've got shots like that. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh no. no. What? Vice. Vice goes huge there, and the spikes are going to go down. This looked like it was going so sideways as it drops down to a 2v2. The spike has been planted. T1 now starting to slowly mosey their way forwards as you've got the two remain remaining members of Cloud9 posted up in Boathouse trying to anchor things down. No ultimates to work with. Automatic Beaker here as they make their way in. Spider, first one there, Mitch. By spotted one. But they've got to go here. I don't think they have enough time. Spider gets one. Automatic gets the second one. Wow. The retakes from T1. I got it. Same in. Yep. Got one. There's a blade storm. Oh, the flash was there, and it just just hadn't connected, but it didn't matter. As relics. He's got some utility there, and then the the leer should give it away. Just buy some time, and if you can get a pick, that's great. And that's exactly what Curry does. He takes care of Mitch, but the spike is going to go left. down for Cloud9. The other thing worth noting is they've got a Hunter's Fury to work with. You'll see Vice playing off-site for two reasons. One, he has the op, but then also he's got that Hunter's Fury. He's got to stay alive here to stop any sort of retake shenanigans. He's going to get pushed. Vice hits the shot anyway on a Curry. Very well played. T1's just down to two. Skadoodle's going to use that Rolling Thunder as Vice gets another one. Skadoodle alone. Skadoodle. Wow. Dead. Over the mid wall. Cloud9 Curry's comes back here towards A. There's just going to be these two players towards three. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Skadoodle goes oh, big matter. there. Daze joins in on it as well. We're at B where there's nobody else remaining, Doug. Yep. And that was, that was Curry trying to assume the same position he did the previous time, the previous yeah. round. Not nearly as successful. Clean shots from Relics. Mm. He's got the Empress. See if he opts to use it. Really, four ultimates across the board for Cloud9. T1 certainly does not have the same luxury. You should run. As they're only down to three members left as well. Mitch can he use that lockdown. Buy some time and continue to eat the clock up. As Cloud9 try to get to five. Now for T1, as soon as that goes down. That should be their cue. Skadoodle pushing Leaf back early on. He did get tagged up down to 42 health. The flash was there too. Zeta gets two. Automatic trades one out. As it's just down to automatic and Zeta with the third. The blade storm was there. It's great crossfire across tree room. The smoke's gonna go down to really deny info from those two players. But relics again. Man hits the shots through the smoke. A big opening pick for Cloud9. Oh yeah. And Curry starting his mid lurk, but T1 is moving towards A. Cat split fully underway now. Holding onto that dark cover is Days relatively wise not to come through there just yet. But as I say that, rips the head off Days, and the curry lurk is already down from a long range frenzy from Zeta. Zeta had a chance to blow it up. Vice goes. He's got a teammate popping right. out at me. It trades back. Yeah. Mm hmm. Right here, we got another really tense situation. Zeta finds one, falls back. Well, Mitch and his turret bail him out. Again. Now it's Mitch who pushes it in. Mitch good for one. Skadoodle trades him out. But now Leaf shows up. Leaf, baby, mowing him down. And Zeta with the third. That frenzy again. Cloud. Seems like it will be towards A here, Doug. Flash was there, but there's so much kill joy utility. You see the paranoia coming out as well from Leaf. He gets up close and personal. He's still got that Ares. He's going to get pushed back. But with enough discipline. Should be left unchecked. Spider gets one. Vice up in heaven. He's going to drop at the hands of Spider. And there's Leaf. Leaf, yep, we talked about him. He's going to take care of Dazed. But now the game's up. 
doesn't know exactly where he is. He's going to switch out weapons as Cloud9 is just down to two members left. Spider waiting for that flash to give him a bit more room to work with. Zeta on the swing. Zeta with the shots. Filthy. Now he's going to use the Blade Storm. Peaks on up. Not spotting anyone. There's a Cloud Breaks. He's going to dash into it, and he's going to get mowed down through the smoke. Leaf, Leaf was alone. Leaf has, has nothing while Cloud9 has, as far as guns go, really everything. One exception, vice upgrades from a Bucky to a Judge. But otherwise, rifles across the board. I called a fast day split, but I just realized Curry is retreating off of B main where he made some early presence. And that's a great recon bolt, if only to make Zeta think about Here. Somebody is close. There it is. Automatic does find a, uh, a straggler frag on a leaf, but God 9 has handled this eco round from T1 exceptionally. Hands of potentially a judge, Doug. Oh, baby, here we go. Light. Oh, no, the timing. Yep, he swings. Leaf, they didn't know he was there. Leaf gets one. Vice drops. Great paranoia there, but Days, Days gets a second through the paranoia. Relic oh. drops his rel as Days goes huge. Spider gets one as well. Cloud9 just down to Mitch. He's alone here in a 1v3, right into a ton of utility. There's a lockdown that you were talking about out from Mitch, but they know where it is, and it looks like they might try to clear it out. The Hunter's here from Days tags up one, automatic taking care of Leaf as Skadoodle does manage to get the spike down. We mentioned the lockdown. It got cleaned up, but Mitch doesn't care because he's able to take care of things with the Phantom. Cloud9, T1 here in a 3v3. Zeta getting tagged up pretty badly here, just 7 health, but he does have the op. That could... Oh, I am so sorry. That was entirely my fault. I totally jinxed him. T1, take that <laughs> round away from Cloud9. Looks like they're going to try to work their way into a tree. Leaf. Leaf's in a spot for something special here. He gets one, gets two. Huge. Looking for more. He's going to get flashed up. Tries to get to safety, but Mitch is there with the cross. Leaf gets Huge. a third. Cloud9 play this round beautifully, spectacularly, as T1 is just down to days. Now... It, it's a stretch. All right. To get yeah, and it, right after the plan, he's going to give him a flashpoint for this peak. Yep. Zeta's ready for it. Yep. Aldrone might spoil it, though. There mm. it is. Still holding fast there. Patiently, the Lord Thunder. He might follow up with that, but Curry was actually there to pinch it in. Spider went up as well. He's able to take care of Vice. It's Cloud Nine's down to three. The clock continuing to tick away as Cloud9, they're just kind of forced to funnel in the same way here, and Automatic can, can really blow this thing up. Relics gets one. Automatic on the flank. Curry gets him as well. Relics also in the fold. Things drop down to a 2v2. Make that a 2v1 as Curry is alone. Trying to keep things up. Trying to keep things up. Oh my gosh, Curry gets four. T1 at match point. Curry. Dude, Curry went bonkers. Absolutely nuts. They're using the neural theft. Have, have gone above and beyond what maybe is expected of them in their respective roles. Some clutches. Insane plays coming out. And as I say that, we got an early bit of action over nice here shot. at mid as Relic trades one out with Spider and Days, but four on three now. Oh. Advantage still T1 as he finds one more. Yep, and it just went from bad to worse for Cloud9. As Daze takes care of Mitch, the dude is going to flash his way onto the site. Leafs gets some info. He knows where the play is. He's going to scurry his way on over. You see Vice He's going to be pushing his way across the middle of the map as well. One enemy remaining. 2v4 here turns into a 1v4 as Vice is alone. The last man standing here in a brutal spot, and it's not going to matter. Ladies and gentlemen, T1 taking.